Hello, children. Good day. Today, we are going to study one of the important elements of music. These are some things you need to remember. Listen and watch carefully. Understand what the teacher is saying. And prepare paper and pen that can be used to list down the important concepts of our lesson for you to answer the exercises. These are the questions that we are going to answer in this lesson. Number one, what is form in music? And number two, what are the different musical forms? But before we start our new lesson, let us have a review. Are you ready, children? What is melody? Correct! Melody is one of the basic elements of music that pertains to the linear succession of musical tones. What are the three major scales that we discussed? Good job! C major scale, G major scale, and F major scale. Now children, what is the first note in C major scale? Very good! The first note is C and the last note is the higher C or octave. It has no flats and no sharps. What can you say about G major scale? Great! In this scale, the first note or home tone is G. It is followed by other seven notes in ascending order. It also has a note with a sharp before it. What about F major scale? Good job! F major, its name is taken from the first note or its home tone F. The scale is composed of eight notes arranged in succession. This scale utilizes a flat sign instead of a sharp sign. The flat sign on B helps in making sure that the scale follows the pattern of half steps and whole steps for major scales. Do you know the song Leron Leron Sinta? Let's sing the song. Leron Leron Sinta, Pupo ng papaya, Dala dalay buslo, Sisidla ng bunga, Pagdating sa dulo, Was there a change in the melody of the song Leron Leron Sinta? Alright, there is no change in the melody of the song. Grade 6, today we are going to study form in music. Let's look at the picture. Do you think this trifle is appetizing? Yes, correct! It looks yummy, right? Let's think of it like a trifle. 
We start with an empty bowl and this is the structure. Next, we take our various ingredients and this is what create contrast. But if we just throw everything in together, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make sense. This is what in the music business refer to as a mess. You know what might help if we had some repetition and variation all up in here? So we start making some layers. First, some biscuits, then some cream, then some fruit, then some more cream, then some more fruit. But let's vary it with some different fruit. Then maybe even more cream. Then let's bring back the biscuits and top it off with some more cream and more different fruit. And voila! A delicious and attractive trifle in which the varying ingredients structured in a repetitive and contrasting way make total sense to the eye and the taste bud. A phrase is a short musical idea like this. If we take a few of these phrases and put them together, we get a section like this. Section Form and structure are used to describe the order of this section, like this. But a song will have more than one section. This is Amando San Jose. He is also known as Maestro Mando or Ma Amando. He is a well-known composer and band leader here in Cardona. And what does he do? He writes music. This music may be a song to sing or a song to play with instruments. We call all the music he writes a musical composition. In fact, he wrote the hymn of our town entitled Cardona Hymn. His granddaughter, Tetchi Bong Santa Ana, and the rest of their family is continuing his legacy in music now. And according to composers like him, in writing music, it is important to consider the structure or form to give shape and balance to the song or music. Now, what is musical form? Form in music is the way a musical composition is arranged. Form is the structure of a composition, the frame upon which it is constructed. Form is based upon repetition, contrast, and variation. Form is the basic structure. Form in music can be identified by giving a letter 
designation to each prominent musical idea and noting the order in which ideas appear and are repeated. A musical form is divided into different parts, sections, or stanzas. Some stanzas in a musical piece are repeated. A musical form is identified by its melody. A single section of music consisting of phrases can be labeled as A. The musical section can be repeated to create an AAA form. The song Leron Leron Sinta has an AAA form. Another musical section of the musical piece that is very different from A is labeled B. Sections that are not like A or B are labeled as C and so on. The following are some simple musical form commonly found in songs or musical pieces. A song may have AAA, AB, ABA, or ABACA. The first one is unitary or strophic form. This is a uh, this is the simplest musical form. A song has a unitary or strophic form or AAA form. It is called one part form. A strophic form is where sections or stanzas are identical or at least very close musically. Each verse of the song is musically the same, with each repetition being labeled with letter A. All the verses or stanzas are sung to the same melody, rhythm, and harmony. Sit Sit It Sit is an example of a song with unitary form of music. Observe the melody of each stanza as we sing the song. Sit sit it sit ali bang bang sa lagintot sa lagubang ang babae sa lansangan kung gumiri parang tandang santo ninyo sa pandakan puto seko sa tindahan kung ayaw magpautang uubusin ka ng langgam mama mama na mamang ka pasakayin niya ring bata Pagdating sa Maynila, ipagpalit ng manika. Ale-ale na mamayong pasukubin niya ring sanggol. Pagdating sa Malabon, ipagpalit ng bagoong. Did you observe the song's structure? Notice that all the stanzas have the same melody. That is why they are all labeled A. In that case, the song Sitsiritsit is in strophic form. Musical piece in binary form has two parts labeled A and B. Binary form is also called two-part form. Songs in binary form have a chorus or re refrain, both beginning and ending. The main section or idea is labeled as A and the contrasting section or idea is labeled as B. Paru-parung bukid, nalili 
lipad-lipad sa gitna ng daan. Papagapagaspas, sambara ang tapis. Sandang ka lang manggas ang sayang dekola, sambiesa ang bayad. May paineta pa siya, may suklay pa man din, nagwaste o hetes ang palalabasin. Haharap sa altar at mananalangin at sa kalalakad ng pakendeng kende. Have you noticed that two stanzas have different melodies? The first stanza is labeled A, and the second stanza is labeled B. Therefore, the song Paru Parung Bukid is in binary form or AB form. Next is ternary form or ABA form. Songs in the ternary or ABA form has three parts or sections, beginning, ending, return, with the third section being similar to the first. This form is also called three-part three form. Commonly, songs in ternary form have one main idea, that is A, one contrasting idea, that is B, and a repetition of a main idea, that is A. Ang Pasko ay sumapit is an example of ternary form or ABA form. Pasko ay sumapit, tayo ay mangagsiyawit ng magagandang himig dahil sa Diyos ay pag-ibig ng si Kristo isilang may tatlong haring nagsitalaw at ang bawat isa ay nagsipaghandog ng tanging alay. Bagong taon ay magbagong buhay nang gumigaya ang ating bayan. Tayo'y magsikap upang makamta natin ang kasaganan. Tayo'y magsiyak Children, how many stanzas are there in the song Ang Pasko ay Sumapi? Very good! There are three stanzas in the song. Notice that the first and third stanzas have the same melody. That is why they are labeled A. The second stanza have different melody. That's why it is labeled B. Take note of the order. It is A, B, A. In that case, the song Ang Pasko ay Sumapit is in ternary form or ABA form. Rondo form or ABACA form. Rondo form is made up of five or more musical parts with some repetitions. 
musical piece in rondo form has contrasting sections in between repetitions of the section A. A B A C A. One section or A returns repeatedly or at least repeated twice with a section or new music, which is B and C before each repetition. Let's sing Maligayang Araw. Sing with me, children. The first stanza is labeled A. Second is labeled B. Third is labeled C. Meaning, all the three stanzas have different melody. But pay attention to the order of the song. We sang the first stanza, then to the second stanza, went back to the first, and then to the third stanza, and finally, ends at the first stanza. So, we came to the order A-B-A-C-A. -A. Therefore, the song Maligayang Araw is in rondo form. Alright! Are you ready for an exercise, kids? That's great! Now, let's have one. And the direction is, identify the concept that is being described, write only the letter of the correct answer. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. This is a form also known as AB form. Ready? Go! What is the answer? Correct. Letter A. Binary form. Number 2. This is sometimes called A or AAA. -A -A. Begin. Great. The correct answer is letter E. Unitary 
or strophic form. Number three. It is the design or structure of a song. Begin. What is your answer? Good job! The correct answer is letter B, form. Number four. It is called ABA form and consists of three sections. Begin. The correct answer is letter D. Very good. Rondo form. And last one, number five. It is made up of five or more musical parts with some repetitions. Begin. What is your answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter C. Ternary form. Good job! Let's have another one. Direction. Analyze the musical form of the songs that will be played. Right strophic, binary, ternary, or rondo. You will be given 5 seconds to write your answer. Number 1. Bahay Kubo. Go. What is your answer? Good job. Number two, Pamuli Nawen. Go. The correct answer is 
binary form. Very good. Next is lupang hinirang. The correct answer is ternary form. Very good. Good job, grade 6. Okay, grade 6. What is form in music? And what are the different musical forms? Good job! Form is the way a musical composition is arranged. The different musical forms are unitary form, orstropic form, binary form, ternary form, and rondo form. Good job, Grade 6. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you for listening. Till next time, have a nice day. God bless.